Jim Winston here, and uh, I'm opening up a, a, a wonderful bottle of wine tonight. Uh, the wine is Caro. Uh, it's from Mendoza, Argentina, and it's the 2001 vintage. It's the last bottle I have of this wine. It's the second vintage of the wine, and it's a collaboration uh, between uh, Lafitte Rothschild and Nicholas Catena uh, from Mendoza. Uh, what preceded this wine uh, was a wine that was produced by the other Baron Rothschild from Mouton Rothschild and Robert Mondavi. That wine is called Opus One, uh, and uh, this wine uh, followed in its footsteps. 2000 was the first vintage of the wine. This is the second vintage, and it's a blend of Malbec and Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, folks, this is, uh, this is quite an opportunity. Uh, it's not uh, too often... I have a chance to uh, to enjoy uh, a wonderful aged out red. Um, part of the reason why it is that you want to keep it in your cellar for a long time so it can develop that type of you know age. And to keep my hands off of this wine when I loved it so much when it was first released uh, was was quite a exercise in restraint. But there's a reward for keeping a wine uh, so long so it can get to this level. Just checking the color, beautiful. Color is dense all the way through. Very little uh, of it is showing any t indication of brickishness or, or, or uh, losing its, uh, its strength and, and saturation of color. Oh, is that gorgeous. Something I've noticed uh, in, uh, with other wines coming from, well, it could be for Napa, in this case, from, from, uh, from Argentina, but we would call that the New World. And after the wines get to about 20 years of age, as this wine is, uh, it starts to shed some of that appearance that you would identify as a New World wine. It be, becomes more, in this case, more like, like a great Bordeaux. And that's what this wine, uh, certainly from its first impression, uh, is what it is reminding me of. It takes on warmer notes, earthier notes, like a like a like an old like a wonderful Saint Julian. One of my favorite estates from Saint Julian is Bechevel. Mm. All the fruit is there. It's a wonderful fade as far as uh, its finish and length. The balance is just letter perfect. Wow. One more. We're having a tenderloin tonight and uh, making a side dish, which is sort of like um, uh, Yorkshire pudding. It's called Dutch Baby. Dutch Baby can made either be sweet or savory. We'll do savory tonight and have some broccolini with it. This wine will be perfect. Well, Mickey, what do you think? What do you mean my glass is bigger than your glass? What do you want, some cheese? <laughs> 